Hi, welcome to What's Gay in PA. During our show, we share news stories and events that impact the LGBTQ plus community across Pennsylvania, from Philadelphia to Erie and all points in between. Today's show is brought to you by Powered by Rainbows, starring Matt Haslam of Matt Haslam Productions, and by Aura Jewelry by Mary Moore. If you're looking for inexpensive jewelry, check out her Etsy page for details. Our top news story today. Melanie Weed, formerly a student at the Pencrest School District, has started a petition on change.org demanding the resignation of the district school board's vice president, Luigi DeFrancesco, and one of the board members, David Valeski. Melanie started the petition because of crude anti-LGBTQ plus comments that appeared on their personal Facebook pages after the high school library set up a display of LGBTQ plus friendly reading materials. Among the comments were from Mr. Valeski. This is on display at Maplewood High School, referring to uh, a set of books that were all LGBT appropriate. Besides the point of being totally evil, this is not what we need to be teaching kids. They aren't at school to be brainwashed into thinking homosexuality is okay. It's actually being promoted to the point where it's even cool. Weed's petition had this to say in part. After only a few months at Maplewood, I was transferred to Sagertown. And in my senior year there, I asked the principal at the time if we could start an LGBTQ plus club because I personally knew several queer youth in the school who were struggling. We all were struggling. And when I asked for the club, I was told if we made a club for the gay students, we'd have to make a club for the black students. Now, doesn't something seem really off about that? If it doesn't, go back and read it again. My senior year, I had to approach more than one of my teachers about presenting a final to them during a period in which there were no students in the classroom. Because of my peers, they were vicious and mocking and nothing was ever done to stop it. My senior government class, a student looked me in the eyes and told me he made his gay cousin eat off different silverware than the rest of the family because he didn't know where his mouth had been. If you've not already been made aware, two of Pencrest's uh, board members are on Facebook spewing hateful, hurtful things. The kind of things that makes, make kids kill themselves. The kind of things that make other people's kids kill kids. Did you know conversion therapy is legal in our state? It is, by the way. Did you know adults pay money for their children to be raped and electrocuted by other adults because the child is, quote, broken and needs to be, quote, corrected into heterosexuality? Did you know that? I did because I had a friend who got sent to conversion camp where she was raped by grown men because her parents told her there was something wrong with her. Luigi DeFrancesco and David Valeski are online spewing the vile rhetoric that gets people killed. Attached are the screenshots, as was shown uh, within the petition. I am ashamed, I am disgusted, that Pencrest openly allows homophobic and bigoted people to sit on the board. These are the men you have making decisions for your children. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm calling for the immediate removal of both Luigi DeFrancesco and David Valeski from Pencrest's board on the grounds of blatant homophobia and putting children at higher risk of suicide than they already are. Pennsylvania Equality Project president and founder David Moore responded with an email seeking feedback from the superintendent, the school board president, and Mr. Valeski. Here's what we wanted to know. Number one. Are you willing to expel a student from Pencrest School District solely for being a part of the LGBTQ plus community? Two, how do you think the value and worth of the LGBTQ plus students and families in your district is measured based on your comments? Three, are you willing to offer a formal apology to the students and families in your district who happen to be part of the LGBTQ plus community? Four, 
The school district's website shows the motto for the district, which reads, empowering lifelong learners. In what way do you believe your comments empower the LGBTQ plus students within the district? Five, a petition is circulating on change.org calling for your resignation. Are you willing to resign your seat on the board because of your comments? At the time of this report, we have not heard back from Mr. Valeski, the superintendent, nor the school board president. To quote Governor Tom Wolf, hate has no place in our state. Now it's time for the rundown. On Saturday, May 29th, Brewers Bar, located at 3315 Liberty Avenue in Pittsburgh, will be hosting the Brewers Drag Brunch, Divas of Drag. The brunch runs from 12 noon until 3 p.m. and costs $20 per person. Tables are socially distanced, masks are required, and seating is by reservation only. Not to be outdone, on Sunday, May 30th, from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m., Oddballs, located at 1505 East Carson Street in Pittsburgh, will be hosting its own Odd Brunch. Along with amazing brunch food, Oddballs will be serving up bottomless mimosas. <laughs> Among the drag queens who will be present and fierce are Miss V, October Overmine, and Cardi Red Diamond. Finally, the Pennsylvania Equality Project will be launching a fundraiser to open a community drop-in center in Northwest PA. The center will serve as a safe space, in particular for members of the Pencrest School District, who happen to be part of the LGBTQ plus community who are victims of domestic abuse. The fundraiser will run until June 30th with a goal of $5,000. Volunteers will be needed to help with the fundraising. If you have news or events that you would like us to mention on our show, send story ideas to info at paequality.com. For events, please allow up to one week prior to the event for us to include it on the program. Thanks for watching today. Tune in tomorrow when we will have another edition of What's Gay in PA.